Our paper is entitled, Why is my classifier discriminatory? and is work conducted by Irene Chen, Frederick Johansson, and David Sontag. When I started my PhD, I was shocked by how easy it is to make a discriminatory algorithm, even accidentally. As a project, I trained a classifier to predict hospital mortality from clinical notes in the intensive care unit. Better predictions could help doctors treat more effectively. Imagine my surprise when my logistic regression showed differences in accuracy by race, especially high errors for Asians. Why? Why might a classifier, and especially my classifier, be discriminatory? In this paper, we seek to understand the sources of unfairness in an algorithm. We present a decomposition into bias, variance, and noise, and we demonstrate the effectiveness of methods to guide feature augmentation in training data collection. So what are some reasons that a classifier would show different accuracies for each group? Consider fitting a line to this data. We could fit one model or two models, but because orange dots are underrepresented, we don't learn a good model based on the true data generating function. Orange dots will have higher error than blue dots. We call this error due to variance, and we can solve it by collecting more data. In another case, we have data again from two groups. For one model or two models, we see that the error for the orange group is again higher than the error for the blue group. Because the orange generating function is quadratic, the linear model class is ill-suited for the orange group versus the blue group. We call this error due to bias and would recommend changing the model class. Lastly, we see data from two groups. But now, no matter what model we choose, the average error for the orange dots compared to the average error for the blue dots will always be higher. The orange group is simply harder to predict even with the best model and infinite data. We call this error due to noise, and we would recommend collecting more features. We define fairness as the difference between lo loss metrics for two groups. One loss metric, little gamma, might be accuracy or false positive rate. Our fairness value, big gamma, would then be the absolute difference between two errors. Note that we rely on unbiased Y labels. In our paper, we show that you can decompose each loss function into bias, variance, and noise. Therefore, unfairness as the difference between two loss functions is equal to the sum of the differences in bias, the differences in variance, and the differences in noise. Going back to predicting hospital mortality from clinical notes, we showed statistically significant racial differences in error, how to estimate the effect of adding more data, and how to identify subpopulations to gather more features to reduce noise. Looking forward, we have shown that accurate and fair models must consider both the model and the underlying training data. In this work, we've presented easily implementable fairness checks that we hope others will adopt. If you're interested in learning more, read our paper on Archive or come find us at NeurIPS.